Hey ladies, welcome back to my channel. So today's makeup tutorial includes this mascara hack for your bottom lashes. It's gone completely viral on TikTok. Selena Gomez is the one that came out with it and I think it's incredible and I think that you should try it. So you ready? Let's get this beauty started. We're gonna jump into our skincare, making it very simple because I want you to see this mascara bottom lash hack. And what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to spritz my face with this thermal water. This is Avene. I have a large one in the refrigerator. So after spin class, I literally just spray my face. It feels so good. So I want my skin to be hydrated first. And then I'm going to add in my quarterly. This is my Vino Perfect. You see me use this a lot on my channel because I'm obsessed with quarterly. Also, I have like a little French skincare lineup here. I just realized that. So we went with our first thermal water going in with some brightening serum. It's going to soak into my skin. I want the most hydrated plump, skin possible. Serum is in. I'm a little high-low today. I'm doing high-low with my makeup. This is going to be really, really fun. I just have a tank top on from Banana Republic. I have my vintage 2001 Chanel jean jacket on and my vintage St. John earrings that you all love. I always get compliments on these earrings in the comments because they're just so fabulous. So why not? And my hair is being blown dried today, ladies, because of course I try to do carefree air dry and I was like, Nicole, stop with the insanity. You cannot do it. Your hair does not like to be air dried. It just looked terrible. So I'm going in with the Embryolis. Amazing product if you don't know about it. It is a cult favorite with makeup artists. It is a French skincare product. It was made for burns. It's very, very simple with the ingredients and you can use this as a mask. You can use it as a moisturizer. You can use it as a face primer. I'm going to put a little bit of this on and it is beautiful. It's going to give you this fabulous glow moisture, absolutely beautiful, and you can feel it. It's just going to really resurrect your skin. Embryolisse is on, feeling good. Look, you can see, do you see that beautiful glow already? Then I'm gonna go in with my La Roche Posay. I told you I have this whole like French lineup, which wasn't planned. SPF 50, this is mineral. Again, now I'm getting all these comments on Instagram. Why don't you mention sunscreen? Why aren't you using sunscreen? We are using sunscreen today, ladies. I don't know why everybody's really very excited about the fact that if I don't put sunscreen on does not mean you don't put sunscreen on. You do you. Like put on as much sunscreen head to toe, ears, neck. I don't know what else, scalp. I don't know what else to tell you, but put it on. Just because I'm not putting on a makeup tutorial does not mean you don't put it on. Sunscreen is soaked in. We're ready to go, ready to create this beautiful look, getting to the mascara, little hack that we're gonna have. Eye and lip primer goes on first. I want to neutralize my eyes. I'm really excited about using this Tom Ford palette again. I'm going back to it because I want to see now that I know that Tom loves to give you extra fallout and with his super expensive palette, I want to preserve as much eyeshadow as possible because I don't want to waste it. So I was a little excited that first time I used this palette because I had never bought one of his palettes and I was like, whoa, I can't believe I bought this. So pricey, but Yet, unfortunately, I really think it's worth it. Like if it's special occasion, you know, it's not my first choice, but I think that it is gorgeous. This is gonna be like very less is more, yet more. Does that make sense? So I'm gonna go in with this first color here and we're gonna use my new brush so we can really blend it out, but we have to be very careful with this product. So again, I'm gonna just press into it like this before I was doing, I think a little too much for the Tom palette. See, just like this. And we will go in and press it in. Before I just was kind of using it like my other shadows and it was really creating fallout and I don't want that. I just did a beautiful prepping of the skin. I don't wanna to have to really clean up. So I press it into the middle and then I'll drag it to the ends here and I'll do the same thing on the other eye. I'm gonna go in with the lightest color and I'm gonna just wash it down like I like to. This is kind of like a new little way I get away with wearing colors that might be a little warm or might be too much. I'm just gonna come down a little bit so you can see it neutralizes it out. Then we will just play around with the contour color. 
I'm going to go in with the darkest color and I'm going to really create a really beautiful lash line and I'm going to take this tapered blending brush so it's going to give me that dense brush but it's pointed so it's going to help out. So I'm going to go into the dark chocolate color. I want to really just stay really close because I want to not really have to use an eyeliner. It's kind of nice during the summer to use your eyeshadow as your liner. Plus, I'm going to be doing bottom lashes with this day look. Yes, extra. I want to be extra. I want to be, you know, kind of glam and like wear the jean jacket with the tank top, but like yet be glamorous up top, right? I can just wear, maybe I'll wear white jeans. Maybe I'll just wear regular jeans. Maybe do some pretty J. Crew flip flops. I don't know. Just like that summertime easy breezy, but yet still bringing it with your makeup. This is the epitome of brushes working for you, not against against you. So you know how Tom likes to, and Estee Lauder and everybody else like Home League. Oh, this is the Christian Dior ones. They give you these little brushes. I tried it because I was like, oh, you know what? They're really pretty and they look kind of luxe and they're terrible. You cannot apply with these. It just doesn't work. So taking a brush, any brush, not just my brush kit, but I specifically made these for you because I wanted you not to be frustrated. I wanted you to be able to go from dark chocolate, dark, dark, pigmented, go into this shadow, go to your eye and precisely be able to put the product exactly where you want it. Not by using brushes that are really frustrating you and putting your shadow everywhere. This does the job for you. I mean, you could really honestly not even know what you're doing, have the right brushes and your makeup will look phenomenal. So now I have the contour color on, I'm gonna go in with the tapered blending brush. So this is the new brush, it's called blending brush and you can see that I have on the darkness, I want to blend it all together. And this was the brush that I was missing in the kit that I really would go to. And I'm like, oh, that's right. I don't have a blending brush that's really going to kind of erase any mistakes or blend the product beautifully, seamlessly in together. It's like a no brainer. Like you have it and you're like, oh, it's not really blended. How do I blend it? Okay, take the blending brush, go right over it and do as much or as little blending as possible. It's up to you, whatever you wanna do, but it literally is like final touch. I probably should have called it like final touch blending. I don't know, but it's just your blending brush looking gorgeous, making it just seem like you just had your makeup professionally done. Now we are on the mascara part. I'm going to take my Shu Amora. I'm going to curl my lashes. This is really important because you are wanting to lift those lashes. Everyone's lashes look like you don't have any lashes until you actually lift them. You need to lift them up. You can use mechanical first, mascara, heated eyelash curl, or whatever you want to do, whatever combo you want to do. Usually when I'm getting into something, I don't want to show you a longer process. So we're going to go in with the Chanel. I'm going to go into the base of my lashes and I'm going to lift up. So this is a great way to look awake. Like you really did a gorgeous makeup job because you're finishing it off with this mascara. Now, during the day, would I wear bottom mascara? No. I don't think any of us really make a practice of wearing bottom mascara on those lashes below because a lot of people deal with transfer. A lot of ladies are like, oh, I, I can't, it just goes everywhere. Use waterproof on the bottom. So you can use regular on the top if you want to, like I am now, and then take a waterproof mascara and do be able to do the bottoms. So this basically is Selena Gomez's technique. I saw it over on TikTok slash a blog post slash Instagram. So you take your mascara wand and you take your tweezers. Now these are angle tweezers and you coat your tweezer with the mascara. So you wanna make sure you have a really great coating of your mascara on your tweezer. And then you're going to go to your base of your lashes and you're going to just squeeze this together. And you're going to see your lashes come together looking gorgeous. And I think this is such a genius idea of doing this. If we come in close, you're going to see that you just take your lash and this is not scary. It kind of looks scary at the beginning when I was like, what is she doing? But you're just basically putting the tweezer right where your lash is and then squeezing it down and it literally coats it so perfect. You're never going to get mascara all underneath. It's going to dry perfectly. It's such a beautiful way to do this. And if you find it clumpy, that's not a big deal. Take a spoolie. Now, if you have shaky hands, this is probably not the technique for you because you do have to squeeze the tweezer on the actual lash and then release. So if you have shaky hands, it might not be the best application, but this is nice because you're not getting full, full, heavy coat. You're literally precisely being able to put 
this mascara right where you want it to go and you're really separating those lashes. This is like the best hack that I've ever seen when it comes to mascara and applying it to the bottom lashes. So I have the bottom lashes perfected. They look amazing. I noticed that my mascara got a little over the top. I'm gonna just spray a little water. This is a great way to use this water. <laughs> and I'm going to clean up the top of this mascara. So let's go in to doing a concealer. I recently received this from Laura Geller. It's called the Cold Concealer in Light. So ladies, this is a wonderful product if you want that cooling underneath your eyes. When you put it on, it feels cool to the skin. We'll check it out as in color wise. I haven't really seen it actually on camera. I've seen it without being in the bright lights, but I think it's actually working for me. So I go up into the corner here. I come down, it's ultra smooth. It is cooling on the eye area. So this is nice if you feel that you have puffiness or you're really dry underneath the eye area. It's creamy, it's really beautiful. And then I'm going to take my foundation buffing brush and I'm going to just buff it in. And it really nicely, cause it's creamy, will go into the eye area. You can press in with your finger. So Sometimes the heat of the finger really nicely will push it into the skin. I can also take, this is a new brush too in my makeup brush kit, is the concealer lip brush. The lip brush is retractable, so you have to pull it out. But on this side, since we did do the mascara underneath, I don't really want to get too close so I can go underneath more precision with this brush and work it in. Concealer is on. Now let's go in with a beautiful drugstore foundation. Again, high, low using Tom Ford, expensive using wet and wild foundation. We all love not expensive drugstore. And I'm going to put my Lumi Glotion that we just reviewed into this beautiful foundation. I'm using the soft beige in the photo focus foundation, wet and wild. This is the dewy. There's two, there's dewy and then there's matte. We're going to add the Glotion right into the foundation. So I'm going to mix this together. This is is going to warm up my skin. It's fine. You can see it's going to be more on a warmer side, not cooler, but I, I really do want to warm up my skin because I am wearing a little bit more of a warmer eyeshadow. So if you are looking for, you can go back to my review, I'll link it here. If you're looking for an affordable foundation that gives you that dewy complexion, and again, I always forget, it smells amazing, florally, but not offensive, not too much. I know a lot of you don't really love smells, but I do but it's very soft. So you're not like, oh gosh, what is that? It smells beautiful. A lot of you don't think it does, but I do. I think it smells really, really pretty. I'll bring this down my neck, blending it all in. Make sure we go right around and over our lips. Some people are very upset that I don't put the foundation all over my lips. So we are doing it today. We're just gonna go for it, ladies. We're going all in on this beautiful look, giving you lashes that really, your eyes are gonna be really popping by just adding a little bit of that mascara on the bottom, because if you take a brush, it tends to get heavy, right? So I love how you can just piece out these lashes. And I don't even feel like I have a lot of lashes on the bottom. You can piece out the lashes and really get that full, complete look. Foundation is on, looking beautiful. It's lightweight, it's not heavy. It, I mean, I am really impressed. I have been impressed since the second that I bought this and showed it to you. So it's really one of my favorites. So I'm gonna go in with cheeks. I told you you could do this, which I love doing. I'm gonna mix my cheeky with my Palm Beach. So this is more of an apricot cream blush and this is more of a carnation pink, very soft, very flush look. I wanna mix them two together today just to get more of a custom color. I just put my finger in one and then the other one. So you can see, you get that pink with that warmth of the apricot. I really like doing this. It's just a little bit different. Then I work it in. This looks beautiful over this foundation. This foundation is like the perfect foundation to work a cream blush into. Cream blush is on. Do you see how it gives you that beautiful flush look? And you still have that bottom mascara on, but it's all working together. It's not over the top. It's actually something I really wanted to do because I usually feel like bottom mascara, oh, nighttime only. Like, oh no, like I would never do that. And then I was like, this is so precise, so beautiful. Clear brow fix is going on. I'm not going to do anything other than just a clear brow fix brushing my brows up, grooming them. I wanted to try, I haven't tried this before. Physicians Formula sent me their butter bronzer and you know, just the name butter bronzer sounds so beautiful. So I just opened it up. This is deep bronzer and I put my finger on it and I was like, and they're right. 
It's like buttery soft. So it's very light too. Like when I put my finger in it and then I put it on, it shears out. I feel like it's gonna really go with my skin and not be over the top. So I did pick deep. So I'm gonna just take my blush bronzer brush. It's angled and I'm going to see what it looks like on. Okay, so lots of fallout on that. So you cannot sweep across like I did. Pressing into the palette, I'll press off on a tissue, making sure I don't have too much because buttery, we have to be careful there. And I'm going to sweep it. Hmm, smells interesting, it smells very pretty. Just do a little underneath the cream blush. So again, top of the ear straight down. That's where I should be contouring. It's not a mystery, very easy. You could also do a three, backwards three, top of your forehead here, come down and around on your jawline. You're just shadowing and you don't have a lot, so you don't have to worry. I just made sure that I dusted off on this tissue, come up on my forehead here, come around and then down. So very pretty. Oh, I like this. It's very nice. I like this. So we're going to go right into lips now. Going in with Cameo, I'm just going to line my lips like I normally do. And we're going to just do a gloss. Keep it very simple. Cameo lip liner is on. We're going to go in with Chanel 722. This is going to really be a beautiful color with this look. Lip gloss is on. This is like your everyday gorgeous lip gloss. Maybe you've never tried Chanel before and you're overwhelmed with how many lip glosses they have. This is a really great staple. 722 is the number. I've had it for Ever. I've showed it to you a lot. It's just really like an everyday lip gloss, very pretty. And I'm gonna dry my hair and I'll meet you back here in one minute. So this is the complete look, ladies. It's a very high, low, kind of keeping it very simple, but yet giving you that extra with the bottom lashes, something that you maybe have never done before. I never did it before I saw this hack. I love it because it's not over the top. I just put a little Kirastas. This is my Elixir Illume. This is going to just really smooth down my hair, hydrate my hair. I used a little Sexy Hair as my hairspray. It's my favorite hairspray. And then of course, I'm gonna do a little Rose of No Man's Land. I'm gonna do a little hair mist. Seal it all in, and until my next video, I'll see you later.